Welcome to Speech Privacy and Sound Masking in Modern Architecture. Course Description This course will increase the student's understanding of the principles behind speech privacy. Students will learn the fundamentals of how speech privacy is achieved and what metrics are used to measure speech privacy. Participants will also learn what role sound masking systems play within the context of speech privacy. Objective 1. Acoustic Privacy Answering the question of who is concerned with acoustic privacy. The graph on the right hand side of the screen is a representation from the Center for the Built Environment in San Francisco. Objective 2. The ABCs of Acoustics The first one is A. Absorption This is easy to understand, but I want to differentiate A. Absorption from B. Blocking The C. Cover is really a term to describe the background sound of an environment. Objective 3. Speech Privacy Here is a relatively straightforward definition. Speech privacy is the inability of an unintentional listener to understand another person's conversation. 0 to 60 percent represents no privacy at all. 60 to 80 percent represents minimal privacy. 80 to 95 percent is what we call normal privacy. Objective 4. Sound masking. There are really four key elements to all electronic sound masking systems. The first key element is uniformity. The second key element of sound masking systems is proper zoning. In order to create the uniformity that we talked about in the previous slide, sound masking systems must be flexible enough to accommodate complex architectural spaces. The third key element of good sound masking systems is sound spectrum. Once a system is designed to provide uniform coverage and is properly zoned, we must then be concerned with how the noise sounds. The fourth and final key element of sound masking is overall sound level. Perhaps surprisingly, sound masking operates no greater than about 48 dBA. Objective number five, design issues. The goal, of course, is to reduce this radius of distraction to something much smaller.